the Italian Development Corporation funded the program Livelihood Enhancement through Transboundary Natural Resource Management in the Limpopo Corridor, namely Limpopo Transboundary Program, LTP. The program is implemented by CESV and IUCN and is aimed to create transboundary, value-added development opportunities for communities in the communal areas of the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Conservation Area, GLTFCA, along the three borders of Mozambique, South Africa and Zimbabwe. The Great Limpopo Transfrontier Conservation Area covers an extensive region with many relevant institutions. There has to be a common vision towards managing all the different sectors, namely community, crops, livestock, tourism and wildlife. Dialogue and coordination between institutions through management and planning based on reliable information using a decision support system, DSS, helps to structure data collection and processing. Thanks to the study made through DSS, LTP has been detected linkages between livestock, spread of diseases, spread of alien species, destruction of crops in drylands, agents of soil erosion. The DSS identified livestock as a key contributor to livelihood and how the uncontrolled cattle movement across the borders has negative effects on it. Livestock does not travel through Kruger and Limpopo National Parks. They are illegal movements of cattle between the borders of South Africa to Zimbabwe and Zimbabwe to Mozambique. Cattle branding has been identified as management action to address the problem of illegal movement of cattle across international borders. The DSS identified cattle branding as a suitable management action because it improves control of ownership, helps in monitoring diseases and reduces theft while improving the market. Through the DSS we identified uh, two significant challenges that affect that sector, namely the livestock security, in particular the livestock cattle rustling, the stock theft that has been very prevalent in these areas. Um, the secondly, then there was the issue of livestock health, the prevalence, high prevalence of diseases. So first of all, we tackled the one on livestock security, where we devised the system of uh, introducing livestock identification, which is cattle branding. And uh, to try and achieve our results, we have since manufactured and distributed um, metal brands. So if someone else is one of us, I phone, I go carry over, I go sit there, oh, 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 my son, I go up and buy lava. I feel like I go sit there, I go dash that to him, that I do me say up and buy lava. But I sit there, I go look, he say, come and say, come back, he come back, I talk to him, he tell me, 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 Kufi <laughs> We here in this district, we rely on cattle. We don't plow, you can see the place is very dry. We rely on animal husbandry. So with your help, we thank you very much because we had a lot, we have lost a lot of cattle because people are just going around taking us, all, all, all our stocks because they don't have a brain. I mean, they don't fool me. What am I thinking? You know, I'm going to be busy. So, I'm going to do nothing. 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 I'm going to do Number 10,
This letter from the Stock Theft Unit Commander in Makado Municipality shows the positive impact of cattle branding on cattle theft. An anti-theft livestock event was held in Masisi in South Africa. The establishment of the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Park GLTP, and its wider conservation area GLTFCA, provides a framework for transboundary institutional cooperation and joint management and planning. Governments, development agencies and local institutions are cooperating to address poverty in communities surrounding the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Conservation Area. Natural resource governance at a regional scale is being supported with the objective to tackle from a regional perspective limiting factors and issues negatively affecting livelihood of communities. Improved regional coordination and joint management efforts can unlock existing potential and contribute to the sustainable development of local communities.